What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Ghost of Tsushima. And today I kind of want to give you my final thoughts about the game. I have finally completed the main story. I have completed all of the side quests for some of the main characters you meet along the way. I do have a few smaller side quests left and a few places I can still liberate some camps and things like that. You know, take away from the Mongols. But for the most part, you know, I felt like I have played enough now that I could really tell you guys what I thought about the game. And I'm not a big fan of reviews because everybody likes games for certain reasons. So there's some things I may like that you may not or vice versa. But just in case you guys were kind of curious about, you know, what I thought about the game and maybe compared to some other people, uh, maybe this kind of give you an idea of, you know, maybe what you're looking for if you're looking to pick the game up. Uh, first thing I can say I think most everyone can agree on is the graphics are absolutely amazing. I play on a day one PS4 and it looks phenomenal. I'm sure if you play on a PS4 Pro it looks even better. But the graphics are incredible. The music in game is really top notch in my opinion as well. The voice acting is cool. Of course you can you know, play it in English and use Japanese subtitles. You can play it in Japanese and use English subtitles. There's a lot of different ways that you can set up the sound in game. Uh, or just you know just the way the characters interact and talk is very neat it makes it almost feel like a samurai old school samurai movie um, but I think just the music in game when you're fighting the music in game and the cutscenes and the graphics are really breathtaking and one of the probably more enjoyable games you know music and graphics graphic wise that I have played in a long time and that is a, a a thing in my opinion in an RPG style game that makes them even more enjoyable is if the gameplay is fun but then you have ins insane graphics you know and, and incredible music incredible cutscenes that just makes the game even more fun to play um, when it comes to story I think the main story and the side quest stories that you do with the some of the characters that you meet along the way are, are top-notch I think the camaraderie with some of those characters is really fun to listen to and to see uh, the only thing I really could complain about story-wise would be some of these smaller side quests. But like any RPG game, some of these smaller side quests kind of feel repetitive. But like I just said, it's kind of like that in every RPG I've played. When it comes to main story, they're very unique. When it comes to the side story in here, like I said, when you're playing some of the or playing or or, or playing some of the side quests for the uh, other characters you meet, it, it's those are very enjoyable. But some of these smaller side quests do feel repetitive. But this kind of is what it is, and that's not really a problem to me, but it is something that I think some people may see as an issue, just depending on what kind of game you're looking for. When it comes to combat, combat is absolutely awesome. I love the different uh, stances you can fight in. I love the different techniques you can kind of use to fight, depending on if you want to be stealthy, depending on if you want to go in just, you know, pretty much swords blazing, I guess you'd say, instead of guns blazing. If you pretty much want to go into straight up sword fights with everybody you come across, you can do that. Kind of that classic, what people would think is a samurai. You're just going in, you know, with honor and, and being this hero that's fighting any and everything he sees. Or you can be a bit more sneaky. So it almost feels, I think, in a lot of people's minds, like a samurai style Assassin's Creed. Because there is the climbing of rocks and the uh, ability to jump across things. And, and, you know, do all kind of stuff that you would do in Assassin's Creed. But at the same time, it's a lot different in Assassin's Creed, in my opinion. But... I feel like that combat is just very, very satisfying. The one thing I will say about the combat that I do not like is sometimes you will get some odd camera angles. Even though you can move the camera around when you're fighting, you'll get odd camera angles and standoffs, and sometimes you'll be buildings or, or trees or whatever the environment you're in. Something could be blocking some of the combat, which is kind of disappointing at times because the combat is so fun, and it is very, very brutal. So if you like that style combat in a game, uh, it's you definitely won't be disappointed when it comes to Ghost of Tsushima. Um, one thing that I, I think that kind of was surprising to me was the photo mode. Of course, all games have photo mode. This game's photo mode is unreal. Of course, for me, it's great because I make YouTube videos, so I can make some insane thumbnails with the photo uh, with the photo mode. But just the uh, the pictures that I have seen online that have been the been people have been sending to their friends on Twitter or people that have been you know tweeting them to Sucker Punch telling them how much they enjoy the game. Some of these photos look like photos you would take in real life. And the photo mode is something you can get in here and just play around with for hours and take some really, really cool looking photos in game. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, I know not everyone may be, but I found the photo mode to be very enjoyable also. I think this game is a game that definitely has replayability. You can go in and play in a different style. Like I said, you can just be an assassin. You can go in just running around fighting everyone you want to fight and not really playing stealthy. 
And also, it's a game that I think takes a while to beat. Now, I'm going to guess, I'm not sure 100% positive on this, but I would say if you're going to play just straight story, probably 20 to 30 hours. I have 50 plus hours in. Of course, I've played you know the main story missions. I've also played uh, a lot of these side quests, like I said, and there's a few side quests and things I have left to do. And I'm, like I said, already 50 plus hours in. So depending on how fast you want to go through it, um, is going to depend on, of course, how long it's going to take you to beat it. When it comes to my really final thoughts, I guess, in my opinion, I think it's one of the better or probably the best PS exclusive I have ever played. I think you can kind of tell that right now. I mean, Sucker Punch just released. Uh, this was the highest selling original IP at 2.4 million copies in three days. Uh, that took the uh, the original IP, uh, the game that held that kind of spot to begin or before this game was Horizon Zero Dawn, which a lot of people, you know, really liked. That was a game that was reviewed very well. So that shows you how everyone has kind of received the Ghost of Tsushima. It's been a very popular uh, game. I think it's been a good success, and I think it will continue to be a success for the months to come. Uh, my final thing I kind of want to touch on is is DLC. I mean, a lot of people have already been talking about this. You know, what is going to happen in the end game? Depending on, like I said, you know how fast you want to go through the game. If you're a person that likes to complete everything in every zone before you move on to the next act, once you get done, you're going to be done with everything in game. If you have done everything there is there, there to do, of course. Of course, you always can be a person. You know, if you're a trophy hunter and want to go out and get platinum for the game, it is very obtainable in this game. I wouldn't say easy to do, but it's not very hard to do either. Um, I'm hoping Sucker Punch will eventually do something for DLC. I know it's going to be kind of hard, considering, of course, you know everything going on in the world. They're all having to work from home. Um, also, you know, new gen consoles are about to come out. So we're almost into August. So new gen is going to be probably sometime in November, December time frame. So, you know, we have some months ahead, four or five months where we could maybe get some DLC for the game. Maybe they're just going to wait and make it, you know, backwards compatible, which most games are probably going to be on next gen. And maybe they're going to bring out some DLC then. I think it would be a shame not to bring some DLC to this game. because I think there's some ways that you could definitely do that. And I think it would be very enjoyable without spoiling anything for the ending uh, you know, I still think there's some ways that could bring some more things to the game just kind of after you have completed the main story. Anyway, guys, leave me your uh, comment with your thoughts about the Ghost of Tsushima. And, of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance to share the video, please do. It does help out the channel a lot. Be sure to check out GT Racing. They are the affiliate here on the channel. They sell gaming chairs, office chairs, all that kind of stuff. And their information is linked down in the description. And if you would like to join the community Discord, that is also down in the description. And my Twitter is down there as well if you would like to follow me on Twitter or anything like that. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.